Hi everyone, it's uh, Sunday, January 13th, 2019. Hope you're all doing well today. Um, just had a couple points I wanted to bring up today. Um, one is, uh, you know, hearing from Jesus, the more you exercise the ability to hear from our shepherd, the, the more it happens, and it's really neat. Um, it actually gets to a point, like for me, it's like, a done deal. I, I just hear Jesus' voice. So last Thursday, he said, hey, Mark, go skiing up at Mount Wachusett, out of the blue. And I hadn't, you know, been. I only go a few times a year. And I had, wow, you know, that's kind of neat. So I went up and had a wonderful day of witnessing. But if you'll notice, one thing I noticed near, there was a picture uh, of Mount Washington taken from the top. And if you look, it says Mount Washington is 126 miles away. And um, uh, I would suggest people do some trigonometry and try to figure out if that's possible or not. Uh, that going down the road of my understanding of the Earth is geocentric, flat, and stationary under the firmament. But anyway, I had a great day of skiing and a lot of wonderful witnessing to people on, captured on the chairs with me. But it went really well. One thing that I found out is that I'm all done skiing now because my boots have finally died. So I think we're getting near the end, folks, because I can't use my boots anymore, obviously. The last the last buckle on the uh, right boot came off as I took it off, so <laughs> I was really at the last, you know, when I was just leaving. Anyway, the, um, the last point I want to make is about pre-existence. And uh, my dad, who actually passed away exactly 13 months ago today, um, used to love to watch Arnold Murray just for fun because he's kind of fun on, on the PBS channels and stuff. And um, Arnold came up with a neat point. I don't agree with everything Arnold says, but he has some good teaching sometime. And I don't trust any person at all. I just listen to the spirit. He came up with a pretty neat teaching on uh, pre-existence here, a little clip I found. God bless you all. Essential that you, there's the diverse of the two bodies, don't natural, spiritual natural, spiritual. There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. Again, can you count? It's, it's all brought forth for you right there. You got a natural body and when you put that away, ere the old silver cord should part as it's written in Ecclesiastes chapter 12, then the spiritual body slips away. Does it dwell within this man? I feel it does. The testing ground when one third of God's children failed. He didn't want to kill the children, but to give a testing ground where they will either love him or Satan. Now continuing, verse 45. And so it is written, and so it is. The first man, Adam, was made a living soul. That living soul was placed within him. The last Adam, that being Christ, was made a quickening spirit. Uh, quickening, again, means life giver. By accepting on the cross what he did, he gives us life for repentance. Verse 46, how be it? That was not first which is spiritual, but that which is natural, and afterward that which is spiritual. Why does God do it this way? That's a good question. Many people would say, well, why would he want to put us in these old flesh, perishable bodies? Well, for the wise student of God's word, you know that we were in spiritual bodies in the first earth age. I probably lose a few there, be that as it may. Get the blinders off. 